want to welcome everybody to another glorious day at Goodwood. We are so blessed. I didn't really know how to dress, so I have multiple layers. If you see me peeling, it's not because that's another occupation I have. That's not my occupation. Um, I'm not a stripper by trade, and but it may mean because I'm getting hot. So I do have several layers, so feel free if you've got several layers to pull them off as needed. Um, huh? Don't, don't listen to my husband. Okay, so welcome to Kiss Yoga, where we keep it slow and simple. And thank you, thank you, Goodwood uh, Museum and Gardens for making this all happen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start a standing or not. Again, you can choose what's best for you. I actually <clears throat> went for a walk this morning and during my walk, I started thinking, now what kind of poses can I start with that'll get everybody's heart rate up? Because it was a little chilly this morning. I did not have a jacket on. And so I won't go through what I went through, but anybody walking down the street saw me doing like this and maybe this, and maybe we'll just punch, and even though it's not yoga, just to get our heart rate up. But now I don't need it. So let's find some, um, let's find some uh, comfort in um, Tadasana, our mountain pose. So, so feet basically hip bone width apart. Maybe try to raise and spread toes. Still got my socks on. You're welcome to keep your socks on. I'm gonna take mine off. And um, so we're gonna raise and spread and then we're gonna maybe roll up, roll up, roll up. And we can make this kind of a dancing thing. We can roll shoulders. You wait, it's gonna get a lot more fun in just a few minutes. So we're rolling up, we're getting, getting those joints loosened up a little bit. Spread the toes once more if you can, and then try to plant them. They're little starfish toes or sort of something like that. I'm calling them starfish toes. Let's notice where our hands are. And if they're in the front, like mine tend to drift, let's go ahead and we lift from the sternum and imagine opening those shoulders and pressing the shoulders down. And that makes those shoulder blades in the back just kind of glide. Another thing is if, if you have a chance to be a little sway back, let's go ahead and, and tuck in that pelvis a little bit. So imagine we're being pulled up from the crown of the head that tucks our chin back and gives us a, a little bit longer neck. If you're comfortable, I invite you to close your eyes. Not find a neutral space, soft eyes. And let's just come to the present moment Notice how the feet feel grounded to the floor. Feeling the ground supporting our feet. Noticing which edges are supported in our feet. Maybe it's like a triangle. Maybe it's just the outer edges of the ball and the center of the heel, or maybe you can imagine four points. Or maybe you're just not imagining today and that's okay too. Quick body scan, noticing if there's any tension or tightness in any part of the body. We don't judge it, we just notice it. We'll keep checking in throughout the practice and seeing how things feel in the body. Bringing awareness to the nostrils. Feeling that inhale and that exhale as it comes in through the nose and as it leaves through the nose, unless you're congested and you might need to mouth breathe. I'm gonna go ahead and begin to lengthen the breath and let's count to four or three or two, whatever your breath is today. Inhale, in your mind's eye, we're gonna hold it for the same length of time that we inhaled, if we can. And then we're gonna to exhale to that same count. 
and maybe pause and hold for that same count. So for me today, I'm able to do four. For you, it might be two, it might be one, whatever feels good, but let's get more oxygen into our body. Maybe pause it and feel those ribs expanded, the belly expanded. Do a certain count, whatever count you choose, and then we'll exhale to that count. Drawing in gently that lower abdomen, lifting from the perineum up towards the belly button. It's just a, a visual. And then finding that pause for that same count one more time. When you're finished, I invite you, and there's no rush, to slowly open the eyes. We're going to get some movement in the knees. Remember that hula hoop you used to do? And then we're going to get the arms or not involved. So instead of having the arms going the same way, see if you can still hula hoop. So this should be fun. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Oops, now when I talk, I can't quite get it together. So we're just kind of warming up that body. <laughs> oh yeah. And we're laughing at each other. We can't help it. It's fun. Uh-oh, Dennis is trying to do the rubber band. Floss. The floss. floss, the floss. Oh, it's hilarious. I got floss. him on rubber tape. Band. Okay, all right. So let's let that go. And let's just kind of shake for a second. <laughs> And maybe shake the hands out and shake the foot out. So just, just kind of having fun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you to find, if you will, mountain pose again or Tadasana. Feet about hip bone width apart. Maybe close your eyes and just, just notice. Do you feel that prana? They call it prana in, in yoga. It's just an energy flow. Just notice how you're feeling right now. You got a lot of energy going in the body. Hopefully, we're woken up. Not quite as good as coffee, but it's there. And we'll open our eyes. And we're going to go ahead and start. I'd like to start with a, a little simple back bend and a, and a wide legged stance. And so wide is just whatever feels good to you. It could be short today. It could be really big. But whatever you do, let's have the toes to the front and the heels either directly behind or they can splay out. So you're a little not neat, but you just kind of have to play with it and find your perfect spot. Let's take our hands. I like to support that low back. We can flat hands with fingers down or we can do fists. We're going to inhale and very gently push those hips forward. Maybe tighten up the glutes for just a second. Just really support that low back. Maybe take a breath here. Keeping the neck in line. Maybe, ooh, look at those beautiful clouds. Maybe gazing up. A little bit of a balance. On our next exhale, we're going to Take these hands, slide them down the legs. If we need to, we can bend our knees or we can heel toe out a little further. So whatever, whatever works best for you. I'm gonna place the hands right in front of my face. And then depending on your shoulders, you may or may not choose to do this. I'm gonna take one hand and put it on my hip and look out to that side bringing that elbow back. So it's a little twist and maybe up. Might just look out sideways instead of up. My neck's not doing the up today, so that's okay. I'm just noticing. Exhale it down. We're gonna move to the other side. So I'm gonna take the other hand to my hip. And again, if you have shoulder issues, if this hurts, just keep it there. Keep a teacup or, or extend. And just notice, now on this side for me, I can turn my head a little bit more. But if it hurts, don't do it. So we can just look out to the side. We're gonna bring it back down. I'm gonna take a nice inhale. And as I exhale, I'm gonna walk these hands over to one foot and bend the knee as I'm walking the hands over. So I've got a nice deep stretch on the inside of the opposite leg. 
where my hands are, that knee is bent. I'm just enjoying a little stretch. Taking a, perhaps breathing a little deeper than normal. Nice inhale. I'm gonna walk those hands to center. Exhale, I'm gonna shift and shift my weight over to the other bent leg. Hands near, you can, I know some people who can do it straight legged. I'm not ready for that yet, but if you want to, you can, don't have to bend the knee. You can do it straight legged. For me, that's my modification. And we'll take one more inhale and walk those hands back to center. We're in what's called, let's lift our chins so that we're in what's called like a half Uttanasana or a half forward fold, it's wide legged. We may want to bend our knees, place our hands on our hips. So we got a nice little bend going. We're completely stable. We're gonna take an inhale. We're gonna go ahead and draw in that lower abdomen, lift from the sternum and come all the way up and then heel toe it back. Shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. So I just found this new yoga teacher that um, I'm enjoying and she teaches what she calls subtle yoga. So it's sort of like keep it slow and simple. And one of the things she does is I used to say, this isn't yoga, this is just me because I get stiff when I hold a pose, it builds strength, but I get stiff. And she says, no, this is part of yoga. This is finding that ease. So I'm like, yes, yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and do some posture work. I'm gonna go ahead and interlace the fingers and drop them. And again, if that doesn't work, you can grab a, a wrist. I'm gonna step back, it's just a short step. We're on railroad tracks, I'm all even. And again, I'm gonna do a nice forward fold. The hips are my levers. I've got a nice long spine. And I'm gonna find a place where I can feel a sensation in that front leg. It's called pyramid pose. Some people, the back allows, you don't have osteoporosis or a lot of metal, you may choose to lift arms or not, you can drop the head towards the floor. Doesn't make you dizzy, you can kind of shake out the neck. These are all just other options or you can just simply stay here where it's really comfortable. Chin lifted, that feels best. Nice long spine. Again, when we're lifting from this position, we want to think about, don't hyperextend that front knee backwards. We have a little softness in it. Taking an inhale and then drawing in that lower abdomen, lifting from the sternum up. And let's reverse, other side. So, I had you with your hands behind here. Let's do something different. Let's grab opposite elbows. Which side am I on? This side, there we go. Nice inhale. Let's see if we can square the hips to the front. So you might be stepping a little wider. Nice inhale and as I exhale, I'm gonna bow forward. Now, if you're grabbing opposite elbows, you can't lift, that's okay. If you can feel good about dropping your crown of the head to the floor, please do so. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. If you feel even the slightest bit dizzy, bring the chin back up. But you can let the head go. You feel it in that hamstring, that front. Everybody okay, no pain, just a sensation. Let's take a nice, slow, deep inhale and send our exhale to that sensation in our mind's eye. Next inhale. We're gonna expand those ribs, draw in that lower abdomen and lift from the sternum up. There we go, oh, lift from the sternum. Very good, shake it out. I don't think my clock's working anymore. Hard to stay focused on such a beautiful day, isn't it? Gorgeous, shaking it out, shaking it out. That's what I'm talking about. I'd like to start finding a mountain pose one more time. I'm gonna inhale one arm up like I'm 
pushing this guy up and the other one I'm going to like push down. So both hands are kind of flattened and you should feel some sensation in those wrists, maybe in the hands. You should also feel a stretch, a nice side body stretch. And then I'm going to reverse. And maybe or not. Good job. And I'm going to release that. And I'm going to pretend like I'm swimming the backstroke. So I'm just going to rotate that arm. And again, if you have shoulder issues, it may be something like this. But put your eyes follow it. And with the breath, we're going to inhale up. Exhale, come back down. A little bit of a twist. Inhale up. Exhale, come back down. One more time, both sides. Inhale up. Just lubricating those shoulder joints, unless it hurts, and then we're going to find some sort of modification. Maybe let just let the eyes travel in a circle and release. Interlace the fingers. I'm going to spread the elbows wide, and I'm going to take a nice inhale. And as I do, I'm going to exhale into a a squat. So for many people, this is chair pose. Chair pose can be as deep or as shallow as you want. So finding what works best for you. Take a nice inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna straighten the legs, maybe crown of the head towards the floor. And if possible, see if you can shift some of your weight towards the ball of the foot so that the glutes aren't hanging way out here behind you. And we're gonna flow with the breath. We're gonna inhale into that squat. I've got my wrist just above my knees, elbows wide, exhale, maybe crown of the head down or chin up. I'm gonna flow with the breath at your own pace, building some strength here. We'll do this one more time. I'm gonna inhale, come into the squat. You may be on an exhale, that's okay. And last exhale, I'm going to place my hands below my knees. This is the classical half Uttanasana or half forward fold. Again, see if you can shift some of the weight. If you're like me, my glutes want to go way out there. I'm a little sway back. I want to see if I can still maintain good balance. Hands under the knees. And then let's go ahead and move those hands up to our thighs. Begin to lift partway with the sternum. Really firm up those thighs and then lift all the way up. Yeah. Go ahead and shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And we're gonna be working our way uh, down towards the mat pretty soon. Anybody have a special request for a standing balance pose? If not, we've been doing a lot with our thighs. I'm gonna start with a little balance pose. If your mat is thick or if you, you may wanna choose to step off the mat, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. And when you're ready, we're gonna inhale up. If you don't, shoulders hurt and you don't wanna raise up, you don't have to. And as we exhale down, lift the toes, spread them. Inhale up. Exhale down, lift the toes, spread them. Do this one more time, we're gonna add on. Inhale up, exhale, let's find chair. So the glutes go back, we're in that squat. I'm gonna turn to one side. I might drop my elbow onto the thigh the closest thigh. If the body allows, you can always go to the far thigh. I used to be able to do that. Not yet. Not now. Don't even care if I get there. It's all good. So we're in a little twist. We're going to inhale and rotate back to center. Inhale up. Woo! Maybe lift up. And exhale. Hands to heart. Flat foot. One more time. Let's inhale up. And exhale into chair and maybe turn the other way yeah awesome how's it feel 
Check in with the body. Yeah, that's awesome. I just heard a nice little pop, nice little release in my back. Let's inhale and put ourselves back towards center, hands to the heart, and maybe come up one more time. Ooh, or not, and down. Good job. Excellent job. Nice work, shake it out a little bit. So, we've done a lot with our thighs, we've done a lot with our shoulders, we've opened up the heart space. We need to pay attention and give a little love to these thighs. So I'm gonna come down into, and come down however it feels best for you. I love to swan dive just because it's fun. Top third of my mat, you can come down however you want, but we're gonna come down into child's pose. I have to bend my knees. I'm gonna put my knees on the ground. And you can bring your big toes together and widen if that feels good, or keep them together. We wanna go ahead and just uh, just release, reset that lower back. If you have problems with knees, you can always use a blanket underneath them and fold your mat. If the head doesn't quite want to come down to the mat, we can put two fists on top of each other and let's just rest. Noticing how we feel once more. And bringing awareness to the low back. Many of us have low back issues. Imagine your nose being there and just kind of breathing in and out of that low back space. Lift our heads, we're gonna come back up to our knees. <clears throat> we're gonna come into plank. I've been trying to work on shoulders or not. You can use your knees down, that works for you. Or you can take the legs out, make sure that the, you've got starfish fingers. A Little bit of tension in those fingertips. And I like to have the glutes up a little high because the last thing I wanna see happen is to have those hips sag and pull on your low back. So just for a moment, I'm just building some strength, having fun, we'll sway side to side or not. And then I'm gonna drop those knees to the mat. I'm gonna keep the elbows straight back and drop my chin in my chest. <sighs> Come on to my belly. I'm gonna turn my head to the left. I'm gonna bend my left knee. I'm gonna grab for the foot. And again, stretch out that thigh. Heel towards the glutes or not. If you can't grab the foot, just, and if it hurts, don't do it. Keep reminding myself and others. So just giving your, your body a chance to really stretch out that leg. We built a lot of strength in those thighs. We're just stretching them out. We'll release that. We're gonna turn our head to the other side, bend the other leg, reach behind maybe for the foot, top of the foot. Can't do that, maybe the edge of the pants. Or you can always use a strap or a dish towel. Stretching out those thighs. And releasing. So I invite you if, if you'd like, I'm gonna keep my chin down, but keep forehead down. I'll, Let's take the arms out into a T. So they're straight up from the shoulders. You can have forehead down and trust my verbal guidance or not. When I inhale, I'm just gonna lift those arms or not. If I'm having trouble, I can put my fingertips on my shoulders and just lift from the chest. 
not to where you're crunching the low back. This is not a big lift. It's more about seeing if you can bring those shoulder blades in the back to kiss the spine. So it's more of an arch in the upper back. Exhale down. We're gonna try to do this with the breath just a couple of times. Imagine pushing that chest forward, whether it's happening or not. You can pause at the top of the inhale, exhale down. Last one. Then we're gonna take those hands and maybe place them under the top of the thigh near the pelvis. And we're going to just, I'm just resting on the side of my face, but you can rest on your forehead. I wanna keep a little eye, let's see. On our next inhale, we're gonna lift those legs. Those legs are straight, they're straight out from our hip joints are in their sockets. And as we exhale, we bring them back down and relax. Next inhale, we'll try it again. Doesn't have to be far, just lifting the legs. And when you're ready to exhale, you bring them back down and relax. Teaching the body the difference between effort and ease. Last one, we're gonna inhale it up and exhale it down and relax. So if the hands are underneath the body, let's go ahead and place those arms alongside the body. I'm gonna rest on my thumb and my first finger so that my palms are facing my thigh. We'll go into a full locus. And in the full locus, it's not about how big you get into a curve, which could crunch the lower back. It's just about lifting that chest and those legs back behind you. This is locus. You can always, if you need to, come out of a pose early. Nice inhale, let's exhale, bring it down. Let's spread those legs a little wider, toes out to the side or whatever feels best. Let's bring the arms, bend at the elbows, bring them to the front, place a hand on top of the other hand. So we've got a little pillow. And let's just let that low back relax. Let's find some ease. Ah. Uh. And just for some fun neck work, maybe turn the head and rest on the other cheek for a moment. And then I'm gonna roll on to my side. I got a straight line, straight line. I'm gonna flex my feet so I'm not curved in any way. I'm not like this. Resting on my upper arm, my head on the lower upper arm or lifting and placing it in my in the hand in, excuse me, the head in my hand. Or if I need a bent arm, just finding what works best for you. I'm gonna start um, with the both feet flex. We're gonna inhale and just lift the top leg up. You'll feel firmness in your glute and exhale it down. We're gonna move with the breath at our own pace. Inhale, maybe pause, keep a nice flex in that foot. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, moving at your own pace. If you need to quit, you can, trying to keep that nice straight line. We've got a flex on the bottom foot. It's not raising, it's our stability. We've got our top arm is bent at the elbow with the hand near the chest. Do this one more time. And then we're going to bend those knees. Oh yeah. So we're in the fetal on the same side. And we're gonna do a little clamshell. Good for the hips. Everything's all interrelated in our bodies. So I'm just going to pretend like I got some sort of uh, malleable glue 
that moves. I've got the inside edges of my feet together. As I inhale, I'm just gonna tip that top knee upward. I'm not gonna roll over or get out of balance. I'll exhale it down. Moving with the breath at your own pace. It's a very subtle movement. Closing your eyes, staying in the body if you're comfortable. Really noticing how it feels. Last one. Pausing for a moment, letting everything go, just relaxing and noticing again, checking in with the body, noticing how you feel. And then we're gonna roll over and do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna get a nice straight line going. We can bend that bottom arm, bend at the elbow and rest our head on it. We want to make that sure that line is nice and straight and not crooked, if at all possible. Both feet are flexed, top arm is bent, hand near the chest. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And to keep that top leg straight, Noticing where you feel it. You should be feeling it in the glutes or maybe you're feeling it somewhere else. All connected in some way, but we're all unique too. I'm feeling it in my glutes. One more time. Moving with my breath. When you're finished, I invite you to bend those knees. So we're in fetal position on the same side. Our, we're gonna imagine our, our, um, our feet, one foot's on top of the other, balanced on top, and there's some sort of glue there. And as I inhale, I'm just gonna tilt my top knee up. And when I exhale, I bring it down. Be mindful of your own body, what it needs today. Avoiding pain. Last one. Closing your eyes if they're already not closed, just totally relaxing into this fetal pose. Letting everything go for just a moment. Checking in, making sure we're okay. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna get on to hands and knees and do a little uh, cat-cow. Just kind of stretch out the spine. We'll find tabletop or not. Again, if the knees are wonky, please excuse my baby. <laughs> I'm afraid of facing it that way. Okay, so if the knees are wonky, anybody need a Blanky, I didn't bring a whole lot. We can eat, always fold our mat. But I wanna go ahead and as I inhale, I wanna imagine pushing these hands like I'm pulling them back, pulling the mat back, pushing my chest forward. So I'm inhaling. As I exhale, I can either round into cat and drop my chin to my chest and draw in the lower abdomen, or I can keep a straight spine drop back to my forearms, bring that chin to the chest and just kind of, oh, let that low back just stretch out, create some space between the vertebrae. Inhaling up, finding cow, it's like a broken cow. I'm really pushing my chest forward. And when I'm ready to exhale, I may choose to keep straight arms and just go part away. And maybe 
draw in the lower abdomen or come down, draw in the lower abdomen. Chin to chest, one more time. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. Nice inhale and exhale, draw it all in. And let's sweep these arms around to the back, to the feet with the palms up. And go ahead and wiggle those fingers as if we were playing piano or waving at the sky. And our next inhale, we'll sweep the arms wide right up underneath our shoulders, move our, our um, knees to the side. We're gonna come onto our backs. I like to start always with my knees bent at first, allowing my spine to kind of ease into being on the floor. Most of you know I love all exercise on the floor. That's my favorite, but I think it's important to our bodies to practice yoga in a lot of a variety of positions. So I'm gonna start with just a little back magic and, and kind of flow with my breath, if at all possible. I'm gonna inhale one knee into my chest, opposite arm overhead, or I can simply just bend at the elbow if I've got shoulder issues. So that if I'm using the modification, the fingers are towards the ceiling or arm directly overhead. As I exhale, I'm going to try to bring that hand and foot slowly down to the mat at the same time. And I move to the other side. Again, using opposite sides of the body. Inhale, opposite knee, opposite arm. Going both of them towards the top of the mat or a bent arm for a modification. Let's move at our own pace and let's close our eyes if they're not already closed and just kind of feel the timing. You may want to play with the breath and pause at the top of the inhale. Find the natural pause at the bottom of the exhale. We don't have to rush this before we move to the other side. As you exhale, become aware of those muscles in the lower abdomen fully engaged. Your ribs also kind of come in to support the spine. And last one. Whenever you're finished, I'm gonna give you two choices. Can you see me? Well, hopefully. I'm gonna give you two choices. We can keep one leg bent, exhale and bring the other knee into the chest. We can grab behind the thigh. We can interlace the fingers. We can extend that leg up to the ceiling with a nice flexed foot and point and flex the foot at your own pace, keeping the other leg bent. So this is a modification to support uh, a, a weak low back or a painful low back. We just keep that leg bent. If you're okay, you can straighten out the other leg onto the mat with a flexed foot so that we've got the heel going in one direction. And with the raised leg, the toes are going to the top of the mat, the heel going to the bottom of the mat if you choose to straighten out the leg. So it's totally, you got to, 
kind of find what works for you today. But let's go ahead and, and point and flex some more. I was talking and forgot about that. And then maybe draw a little circle. And if you want a little more core work, you can lift your shoulders and head off the ground. Just keep your chin facing the sky. We don't want to tuck our chin in this position. We want some distance between that chin if you're doing a little crunch. Distance between the chin and the chest. If you're doing a crunch, I invite you to bring the head back down. We've got that leg fully raised. We're going to relax the other leg if it's out long. If it's still bent to protect the low back. We just make sure it doesn't flop out. So there's a little integrity there. Take a nice inhale. And as we exhale, we might slide our hands a little further towards the top, just a little bit so that that leg goes a little bit away from us. We'll turn our toes towards the other side and then bring that leg across the body on an exhale. You're gonna feel a sensation. Again, we're stretching, body fully warmed up. So imagine sending our exhale to that area of sensation. Next inhale, we're going to bring that leg up with the foot flexed. We're going to bring the hands in alongside the body, arms long, palms on the mat. Take a nice inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly lower that heel with the exhale with a firm engagement of the core muscles all the way down to the mat. And then relax, let those toes flop to the side. If the other leg was bent and it's okay, you can just come into the corpse pose, straighten out that bent leg. And just notice, maybe take a moment with closed eyes to notice the difference between the leg we've stretched out, maybe the energy flow. It's called interoception, where you bring your attention inward to how the body feels. Maybe feeling a little leg length difference. So if both legs are out, we're going to rotate the ankles so the toes are, are facing the ceiling. Maybe bend both knees. <clears throat> Take a nice, comfortably deep inhale. And on our next exhale, we're going to bring the other bent knee in towards the chest. We can keep the opposite leg bent with the foot on the ground. We've got one knee in towards the chest, or we can straighten that leg out. It depends on your back and how it feels. We interlace the hands behind the thigh, straighten that leg straight up, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, no pain, and then maybe very gently pointing and flexing the foot at your own pace. If you feel like you've gotten it too far, forward towards the torso. You can always move the hands further down the thigh towards the top part of the thigh. So we can adjust this intensity. And then maybe draw a little circle with the foot one way. Maybe reverse. Mine kind of looks like a, a lumpy figure eight. It's okay, I'm just noticing, no judgment. And then we're gonna rest that leg. Take a nice inhale, maybe again, let those hands slide down closer to, towards, just a little bit towards the, the top of your thigh so that the leg's a little further away this time. We're gonna turn the toes towards the side that we're crossing that leg over the midline of the body so the toes I feel some sensation on the outer edge of the leg. Again, no pain, just sensation. 
Sending our exhale there in our mind's eye. Engaging that parasympathetic nervous system. Helps the body to relax and let go. Next inhale, we're gonna bring that leg straight up to center. We're gonna release our hands, keep the leg raised, the foot is flexed, bring the arms alongside the body, palms on your mat to protect the low back. We're gonna have the uh, core fully engaged and we're almost taking out that natural curve in the low back. We're trying to keep that low back pretty much pressed into the mat. Taking an inhale with the core engaged, exhaling nice and slow down to the mat at your own pace with your breath when it touches down going to roll open into corpse pose for final relaxation. As you all know, there's, there's modifications. So if it does not feel good to have your legs out long, you can always widen the feet on your mat and let the knees rest against each other. The back is cranky. Invite you to Let go. Noticing how the body feels at rest. Feeling supported by the ground. Letting go. Allowing the body just to rest. There's nothing you need to do. Bringing awareness without making any movement, shifting your awareness to your right foot. Shifting from the right to the left foot. Moving awareness over to the right lower leg. And across the body to the left lower leg. As we shift our awareness, we feel whatever body part we're focused on simply soften and let go. Shift our awareness to the right thigh. Shift it over to the left thigh. Feeling that left thigh soften. Taking our focus to our hips. to the glutes, the buttocks, so many muscles, feeling them soften and relax and let go. Bringing awareness up to the lower abdomen. And the low back. Taking the awareness to the belly and the mid back.
to the chest and the upper back. Feeling both shoulders relax and let go. Focusing all of our awareness on our right arm, right hand. Letting that go and moving our attention to the left arm, left hand. Feeling it grow heavy as it relaxes and lets go. Just let it go. Bringing awareness to the pit of the throat. In the back of the neck, Sensing the entire scalp softening. Softening the face. Very gently bringing awareness to your mat. Once more, feeling that body supported by the ground. Feeling the temperature. Being aware of sound. And gently moving fingers and toes. Whatever your body needs to wake up. Nice and slow. Whenever you're ready. The legs are out long, we bend at the knees. And we find our way over to a comfortable fetal position. Listening to my words. May I be happy. Repeating that in your mind's eye to yourself, breathing that in. May I be happy. May I be healthy. Feeling that resonate through the body. May I be safe. Feeling that safety and security like a blanket around your body. Knowing as you move through the day that you still have that to carry with you. 
Whenever you're ready, taking the top hand, maybe the bottom elbow, pressing yourself into a comfortable seated position. Easy sitting pose, whatever's easiest for you. I think I lost my husband. I just let him sleep. He really takes. He's breathing. Is he breathing good? I saw his 10 minutes. You did good. I okay. see his. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our world, Dennis. Thank you all for joining me um, physically and virtually in uh, awesome yoga practice. I invite you to bring the hands if you want to join me in closing. Let's bring them down to our sides with the palms up. If you feel like you need grounding, of course, you can bring your palms down. I like to think of blessings those that I recognize, those I have yet to recognize. I'm going to inhale all this goodness up and bring my hands together in prayer position and exhale all that goodness to my very being, every cell of my body. Namaste. Thank you and thank you virtual students.